Do you want to take a stroll through nature? Then come join me in Juniper Grow. Juniper Grow is a story about the trees, uh, just nature, just a walk through nature in a very subtle color palette. It's mainly shades of green, a little brown, a little white in there, depending if you want to frost it or snow it, or just keep it in the natural wood tones. And this tree, we've had it, uh, we've added some of the birch branches that work beautiful into this set, with uh, along with some of our new ornaments that feature some resin pieces, along with wood or a wood look, uh, a little hand carved wood look Santa carrying a tree, and our logger that we added into the tree, and the oversized jingle bells that helps bring in the holiday flavor but stays within our palette. I have to share these items with you because of the technique and what they've done. The wall pieces up here, you can see how it's raised uh, and in sculpture on there with the animals, the deer and the elk. Uh, and then we have some of the botanicals with the pine and then the pine branch with the two birds in there. The detail on there and the sculpt is raised and comes out of it, which adds all that additional interest and depth to the picture. It's also repeated on the deer, the platter, the mug, and the birds, and then several ornaments in this collection. Down on the second shelf, you're gonna see a couple of new moose, and they're decorated with a little wreath of pine and cones with a little bit of snow on there. The texture on the, the moose is really interesting because if you look at it, it almost looks like it's driftwood that's been whitewashed or, or a little snow effect on there. We also have a lot of new wall art in Juniper Grove. And this one here, I particularly like. It's, it says, let heaven and nature sing. This could have been the title of this collection because it's a beautiful representation of what it really is. And of course, if you look down below, we have several wicker baskets here. Wicker and rattan is a hot trend right now. You're gonna start noticing a lot of wicker coming back and we have several areas that you'll see new wicker pieces. Juniper Grove features so many different botanicals and they're really apparent right here in this area. We brought in some new textiles with pillows that feature the uh, pine, the spruce, some mistletoe and the holly. And it's also repeated on the runner. And then we've taken it all the way up to the wall and given you some prints that are nicely framed in a, a wood washed uh, finish on the frame. And then if you want to add them to your tree, they're also on these flat disc ornaments made of metal. The botanicals work really well and I like just that little touch of red. I don't think it's gonna disrupt our color palette here, but it just gives that freshness and brings in a little bit more of the holiday cheer. Some new sculpted Santas are perfect for Juniper Grove because it's those re rich brown tones, as I told you, mixed with those greens and it comes alive and they're just wonderful. You might also see an angel or two. And here we've got a, a few of our new angels. Um, this one's carrying a dove and the other one's holding a, a beautiful little wreath in her hand. The detail on here is beautiful. They almost look as if they're flowing across through the forest. Some new uh, deer here that I think uh, are a little different because typically when we have a white deer or some of the deer, the antlers are always the same color as the body on the deer. The difference here is these antlers are silver. We've got the white body on the deer. Another angel here features uh, some of our, our friends from the forest in more of a rustic value. And she's got metal wings and it's just a beautiful addition to our Juniper Grove. Some new floral prints that feature both our birds along with some of the new botanicals. And this trend of botanicals with the names uh, with it, I think it's so trendy right now. And what I like about it is because my background is in, in the, with plant materials and flowers and everything, I think it becomes an educational piece and it helps people relate and identify things. As you're walking through this forest, you're gonna see some more friends. We've got our feathered friends here, that snow white owl is beautiful. And along with a couple sculpts where they're perched up on a stump. The lower shelf shows some of our new deer. They have that sisal grass, which is just a beautiful finish. And then it's lightly uh, glittered just to give that frost of that 
that new snow that might have fallen on their back. They come two assorted in two different sizes. We just left the snowy side of Juniper Grove. Now we're going back to some of the natural look. Our natural wood lanterns are a beautiful place to uh, put on this table along with our new gnomes. Did you see these gnomes are crazy? They're sort of fun. I could, I could see them sort of frolicking and playing in this, in this woodland area, but they have trees on their heads for hats. I just, I just think it's a little bit funny, but they're a beautiful thing. Uh, they're stacked as if they're just tumbling through the forest. We also have them individual in a couple different sizes. This new Santa with the deer, he's also an exceptional piece. A lot of detail in here, the edging on his jacket. Uh, please take the time to get up close and, and see the detail in his windswept jacket. Some of our new textiles, again, we have so many of them this year that are exceptional, but I enjoy this deeper green value. It just mixes so well with everything else on the table. Some of our new floral pieces, as you can see in the candle ring holder and some of the, the placement in the centerpiece down here, features that lime green, that mossy green on the pine cones, which puts another point of interest in here and a new punch of color. And there's one final thing that we put on this tree. This is a little clip-on mushroom. He comes in brown and assorted two colors, just a little clip and put on there. It, a simple little addition to any tabletop tree. Rings and hoops are a very popular trend right now. I know you've seen them in magazines. Uh, they use them a lot for wedding decor. You can hang them on the wall, add some decorations to them, but we like to suspend them from the ceiling also. Here we've just taken a few ornaments and hung them inside the hoop, added a few stems of our, our beautiful eucalyptus that has that soft green value. They're the perfect addition to make Juniper Grove come alive from the ceiling down. Remember our bike cart that we introduced about a year ago? It's just an incredible showpiece and display piece. You can use it for so many different things. And here we chose to put a Christmas tree in here. And we've added something to the tree to make Juniper Grove go a little bit different direction. If you look in the tree, you'll notice the blueberries. The blueberry stems are another color palette, and but it's also already there because all the different values of green, as I shared with you earlier, but some of the greens have that little hue of blue in there. So the blueberries are a natural, natural addition here, but it gives you a different palette. Uh, there's some of our little gnome ornaments in there. And again, the mushrooms with the little clip-on in the green coloration and our clip-on candles. The blueberry story continues here in Juniper Grove. We uh, can see it here in some of our wall art. It's beautiful framed pieces matted with blue that helps bring the blue story out as you can see the blueberries in the wreath. There are some new botanicals as we see the wreath that has the eucalyptus berries, the blueberries, uh, along with cedar and pine. A new wall piece of sculpted metal that's uh, dimensional with pine cones and with a couple of little birds on there. On the table, you're gonna see some new sculpts. They're carved wood. We have deer and some new trees along with the Santa. Maybe you like the little bit of more of a contemporary look. Try these new trees. They're very, very sleek in line with that modern pattern of a chevron on it.